All right, guys, uh, I just went through a learning experience on this furnace. It is an American standard, uh, high efficiency. And the problem was that um, I almost never used this thing, uh, but I just turned it on and it was not starting. Uh, it ended up uh, being a little pine cone got stuck uh, in this uh, motor or in this uh, compressor, whatever it is. So this motor was not turning at all and it was just getting hot. Uh, so after research and research, um, uh, I thought it was something else, but it ended up being just a pine cone that came through the exhaust and got stuck there. Um, so I learned a little bit about these things in the last uh, 24 hours. But at first uh, I was seeing one code here on this thing is, I mean, right now it's off. I just want to show you something. It, it was showing, um, what was the code, 3P1 or something like that, that uh, I was just Googling, everybody's Googling, and it just means idle, it's just, uh, it's not a code. Uh, I mean, you have to read it the other way. Let me show you. So, it is on. This thing is going to come up. And now it says hit two, okay. So you can see that this is now working. Before it was not making that noise. I'm going to pressurize whatever it needs to pressurize. And I think I mean, the heaters are on. So yeah, um, I mean, I hate this furnace. I prefer electric heaters. But this is what uh, the builder gave me. Um, this, this still says HE2, hit stage 2. Um, but let, let me just put in idle, maybe so you guys can see. Okay, so I turn it off. 7P1, it's just idle. I mean, anyhow, let's see. I'll show you the codes now because they are written here. This thing is five, four years old, but uh, as I said, I tried not to use it. I don't know what's the model, you can see here. Um, anyhow, um, yep, so that's it. Uh, hopefully this uh, video helps uh, somebody, so code 3.2 that it was for a pressure switch in my case was that this motor was not spinning and not creating pressure because a pine cone was stuck here so I had to take this out carefully take this out take this out no I took this out and uh, took this out um, split it release it uh, disconnected a few things here and everything looks okay after one day, so... There's a bug over there. Anyhow... Alright guys, thank you. Uh, so just be careful when you do all that uh, disassemble of this thing. Uh, it came to my attention that these things, I mean, they burn natural gas, right? So there's a chance that if you're not careful, you can put um, CO2, carbon monoxide inside the house because the carbon monoxide goes out this way so if something goes wrong, carbon monoxide, I don't know, it can be blown inside the house so yeah, I don't know, these things I prefer electric heaters, much cheaper, easier to understand they don't fail that much and I think they're, I mean, to run them, they are cheaper. Anyhow, uh, status codes, error codes, and menu options. So these are the error codes.